I shouldn't be. You should not be. Hey, guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to The Ted Show. I'm excited to have these two entrepreneurs on the show today. Christine Bennett is an old friend. It's Christine Malpica Bennett is an old friend. Um, and Todd, Todd Ortscheid is a new friend. And we're going to talk about revolutionizing the property management experience, uh, which I think is a market that doesn't get talked about enough. And all my real estate uh, followers out there, you definitely want to sit in on this one because they've got some great stuff we're going to talk about. Welcome to the show, guys. How are you? Thank good. you, Ted. Yeah, thanks I'm for having us. I'm very excited to have you on. You both look good. Your lighting's good. Uh, Christine's camera work is good. Everybody looks great on this crazy Monday. All right. So um, I think it's important for people to know who you are and kind of get to know the person. And then we can talk about the new venture and what's going on. And Christine, obviously, I'll start with ladies first. Tell the audience a little bit about you. So um, I'm obviously a Orlando local. Um, moved here for college, never left, made a home here. Um, I've been in real estate about 12 years, and of that 12 years, I've mostly specialized in property management. It's um, We're kind of the stepchild, I think, of real estate. Um, it's an area that is a smaller profit margin and a lot of liability. So you really want to make sure you specialize in it. It's not something you really want to do on the side. And I have, I think I'm mentally ill, and I love it, and that's, that's what I do. So. <laughs> and you know what? I think all of us have a special uh, desire to be in real estate and you have to be a very special human being to uh, continue on in our crazy world. Did you come here to college for real estate or did you just kind of learn that on the way? Uh, well, it's yeah. actually a funny story. I, I was in, um, I was in off campus housing and I called my dad. I was like, hey, dad, can I have some money for a hair license? And he said, no. Like, okay, great. Can I have some money for a real estate license? And he goes, okay, yeah, we can do that. And um, I started working in real estate while I was in college and I was, I was taking college economics. This was back in 2008. So the market was thing, Yeah. Um, and I, I remember being in my economics class and um, they're like, oh yeah, the market's fine. It's fine. I was like, I don't know. It doesn't seem fine. Um, but anywho, I started negotiating short sales and working the REO market at that time. And, um, investors were just flocking to central Florida. Yes. So it was a really, it was a really natural move for me to go from, uh, sales to property management because investors, they just, they needed help. They were, they were buying these properties, 30, 40, 50, $60,000, and they're all over the country, all over the world, really. So property management, it just kind of fell into me. I love it. And I, I think it's I think it's cool that that's you, your trajectory went somewhere you didn't expect it to. And so that's pretty cool. All right, Todd, I've ignored you long enough. Todd Ortscheid, how are you? Give us a little background on you. Sure. So uh, I actually didn't come from uh, real estate at all. I was an airline pilot for 14 years for actually Orlando's hometown airline for a long time, AirTran Airways, until we merged with Southwest about 10 years ago. And when that happened, they were going to ship me out to the West Coast for a little while. And I decided that wasn't going to work too well for me. So my father had a small little property management company up in Atlanta, and I took that over. Uh, and it was this was 2012. So it was a perfect time for property management. We were growing like crazy, you know, in the midst of after the recession from the housing crash and everything, property management was just booming. So we grew pretty quick and eventually I spread down to Daytona Beach and now, of course, with Christine here in Orlando. So Christine, how did you all meet? What was the impetus behind this? Because you had, you had, you were, I know your work ethic is amazing. And I don't remember ever hearing you say, you know what, I'm, I'm looking for a change. And so I was very fascinated when you, when you all announced uh, that you were going to work together. So how did this all come to be? So I hunted Todd down from the beginning. Um, <laughs> There's some honesty, and, Todd, right there. <laughs> I really do. So um, when I first decided to do this almost three years ago, um, two and a half actually, I 
Todd was one of the first people that I hunted down. And I was like, so I got a crazy, a crazy idea. I want to do this. I want to go on my own. I want to open something. And Todd um, was really my mentor from the beginning. He's really systems driven. Um, we're the complete opposite uh, <laughs> as far as personality goes. Um, but work ethic, obviously the same. Um, so having my company and then having, you know, seeing how he's, Todd's again, really system oriented. And um, it was just a really easy transition to decide to merge together because I'm really good at growth and development um, and service. And Todd's amazing at, um, you know, fee maxing and systems and organizations. So. So, Todd, what was your perspective on that when you started being, as Christine said, stalked? Um, <laughs> was the process that easy or were you like, I have no desire to do this? And then what changed your mind? Well, I actually, you know, for, at first I, I wasn't really looking to, to grow that much. We were kind of we were at that 400 door level where we were managing that many properties and I was kind of happy there. Um, and I wasn't really looking to grow that much. So I kind of put things off for a little while. But then decided, you know, I was ready to start growing the company again. And the, the thing is, like Christine says, we are complete polar opposites. So she is excellent at sales, marketing, growth, all of that. And that is not me at all. I just, you know, doing that kind of stuff. I, I couldn't sell anybody anything. So, you know, <laughs> bringing Christine in for something like that to be able to help with that would be perfect for us. So that's kind of how it just kind of came together perfectly. You know, we just kind of complement each other really well on, you know, our, our my strength, you know, it, you know, is her weakness and vice versa. So, you know, I think that's really where it works well. So Christine, in 2021, what's it like to merge and put together a new team, a new marketing strategy? Uh, it's not just the two of you met and all of a sudden it was boom, done. There's a lot of work that goes into it. So what was that process like? So merging, merging a company together um, to form one, it, it's, there's a lot of tasks involved. Um, there's a lot that we have to do. But as far as uh, flow, it's actually been really easy because, like I said, Todd and I work really well together. So it hasn't been, there hasn't been any bumping of heads. It's just a matter of a lot of work that has to get done. And we always want to do the right thing by our owners and our tenants and obviously um, our referral partners, which are agents. So it's just getting the word out there and letting everyone know what we've done. There's um, there's only positive changes moving forward, and we're just going to be able to serve everyone better. And I, I think I'm, we're all really excited about it. So Todd, talk about uh, in the real estate community, I know a lot of realtors will say, well, I want to property manage. Um, and then it's almost a side gig. It's a thing that they do once in a while. And then immediately, I'm pretty sure 99% of them regret that decision because of the amount of work that you have to do and the amount. It's really a lot of work. When you all are talking to realtors, what do you say to them to show them, hey, this is the better way for you to do it with your clients? So I would say the big thing is there's just there's so much more that we're able to do because we specialize in this than a realtor is able to provide to the client. So if they just want to give the client the best possible experience, then it's better to bring them over to someone like us. And we can always refer them back when they're ready for a sale uh, or something to that effect. But we're able to just offer things like guaranteed rent, you know, property damage protection, pet damage, you know, guarantees against pet damage, just so much that we're able to offer that a, a realtor that's managing 20 or 30 houses just doesn't have the ability to offer that kind of stuff that we can just because of our scale. So, you know, we can get provide a much better experience for that client so that the client's happier. So that obviously they're happy with the realtor that referred them. So, you know, that's really what we can do. And Christine, I, I know this isn't just fly by night for you. You're actually really involved with NAPRUM. NAPRUM. Can you talk about that? Uh, love NARPM. Um, Todd is is as well, actually. He's in the Atlanta chapter. And as a company now, we're in Atlanta and the Orlando chapter. NARPM is a lifesaver. So it gives us the opportunity to network with other property management professionals. Um, I will say that we are, uh, we're very fortunate in Central Florida because I work alongside some of the best property management companies in the country. 
I get to learn from them. Obviously, we're all we're all in the same pond and we're all looking at the same business, but it's just awesome to see the talent that we work alongside with and we all learn from each other. Um, and that's why I love NARPM in general. So. And you're involved, you're, in, you're doing something in 2022, correct? Uh, I'm the community awareness chair. Love it. All right, tell us about the consumer. So if a consumer is watching this, somebody who's got multiple properties, somebody who has one property, it doesn't m matter. <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't matter. So what can you say to them when they think things like, well, it's too expensive, or I'm still going to have to do all the work, or do you even take an individual investor like that? Give us a background for the consumer. So I love, I love, love, love the owner that has one or two properties. And that's, that's been um, most of our portfolio is owners who they did not mean to become investors. They did not mean to have uh, rental properties. They were either upsizing, downsizing homes, job relocations, and we want to we want to help them. I mean, we want to protect them. We want to make sure that they're doing the right thing by their tenants, that their property is safe and well taken care of. Um, as far as expensive, we have we have all kinds of options. We actually because of our size and. The, um, the ability to offer guarantees. We have a 0% management fee, which most people don't go with that. Ultimately, they decide that they want to pay a monthly management fee because of what we can offer. Um, but price is, we're, we wouldn't worry about that too much because we of what we provide, so. Well, just the peace of mind as somebody who has had rental properties. Um, I remember thinking, wow, this is, this is a lot of money in the beginning, right? Because I think all consumers go, what, you're going to take how much? But man, the peace of mind of not having to handle a phone call when the dryer broke or the power, uh, something, anything they will call you about and not having to field that and have a property manager, that was a lifesaver for me. And so any kind of um, consumers out there, investors out there who are wondering what, what that fee goes to, First of all, peace of mind, number one, and the rest of the things that Todd and Christine do. I mean, it's just out of this world what you can then focus on your stuff, building a bigger portfolio, working with more people, uh, buying more investment houses, because you have all of that under control. Um, Todd, what is revolutionized? Talk about that, because you've got it in the background. You've got revolution. Why Revolution? What was the thought process behind that name? Yeah, so we actually, you know, that was Christine's company's original name. And we actually decided to keep that uh, because it kind of symbolizes what we're really trying to do here, which is we're not just, you know, the traditional property management company collecting rent, getting repairs done. We kind of go above and beyond that with what we offer to our clients. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier with the guarantees and everything we offer, we're basically, we like to call ourselves the safest choice in property management because when a client comes to us, they don't have to worry about a lot of these things like what happens if my tenant gets evicted? What if they don't pay rent? You know, we have programs to protect the client for that. So that's kind of a revolutionary approach, I think, because the average property management company isn't offering those sorts of things. They're just doing the mechanics day to day of managing the property and not really providing that sort of protection for the property owner, for the landlord. So that's kind of what we're doing. And then, of course, there's also the technological aspect where we, as Christine knows, as she's getting used to all of our different technology, uh, <laughs> there's a lot that we do behind the scenes to really kind of make it more efficient and everything through the use of technology, which is how we're able to do something like offer a 0% management fee. So, you know, there's there's a lot that goes into it, but we're, we're trying to be a much more progressive, you know, advanced property management company that's not just doing the basics. Christine, why this over traditional real estate for you? I'm a glutton for punishment, obviously. No. Um, in a positive way. In a positive no, way. Just to be honest, I love it. It it makes sense to me. Um, you know, stocks, you know, all different kinds of investment tools. I've always really, really liked real estate. It's tangible. You know, at the end of the day, you can live in it. You can put, put a roof over your head. Um, and also if you do it right, I mean, you can, it's, it's lucrative as well. I mean, you know, long-term investments, buy and holds then flips. I just, I just love real estate. I love it. All right. So how can these realtors who have been already popping up, asking lots of questions, uh, how can they best reach you all? Uh, is the website, the website is scrolling across the bottom. 
But if you guys want to share maybe a personal way they can reach you, uh, that would be great. Christine? Call me. <laughs> Call me. It's not in my DMs. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always around. Um, so, yeah, and I, I want to just highlight that. We, I love realtors. Uh, we're in the same, we're in the trenches together. That is my best referral partner. Um, we also just rolled out our 10 out of 10 referral program. That means that we will pay up to $1,010 because we're 10 out of 10 um, for referrals. And we just, we appreciate what you do. We want to take care of your clients and then we refer it back for sale um, if it comes to that point. So, Fantastic. How about you, Todd? Yeah, well, you can always uh, find me uh, on Instagram. That's basically where I am. I'm all Facebook now, so you can DM me there. Uh, but uh, my email, Todd O at gtlrealestate.com. But always call, talk to Christine. She's the best person to speak to for anything. <laughs> on this I love the honesty. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I love the energy. You know, property management can be a taxing thing to listen to, talk about, and God bless you both do. Uh, but you guys make it fun, and I can tell that you have a passion for it. And that's really what you want, because that's a big specialty that I think a lot of real estate professionals dip their big toe into. And maybe they should just shift that over to wonderful people like you guys. All right. Go to their website. Reach out to Christine or Todd or me, and I'll put you in touch. Thank you guys for being on the show. It was awesome. Thanks for having us. All right, guys. Have a good one.